What is going on, everybody? It's Captain Blue Shell coming to you guys today, back with American Truck Simulator today. Guys, we are checking out Blades 388 Wrecker. And so far, so good. This looks absolutely amazing. Uh, we've basically got the, the bare stock of the truck itself. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be building it, customizing it, and driving it. Uh, this mod does have its own unique jobs in which we're actually going to be able to tow trucks and vehicles down the road. It looks amazing. I mean, I've heard such good things about this. This is our first wrecker, and I'm excited to be getting into it, seeing what she's got in store for us. Let's go ahead, uh, get right into the adventure. You're going to want to stick around. It's Captain Blue Shell. Well, 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 if it isn't Captain Captain Blue Shell. So let's go ahead, start backing up this uh, this bad boy, and let's go ahead, bring it to get some fresh paint, some fresh accessories. Just listen to the sound of that thing, and it's just so easy to drive already. This is just super simple, and it looks just freaking awesome. It truly does. Let's go ahead, get back into the uh, the cab. There we go. Oh, listen to that, baby, purr! And as we get underway, it's just basically just a hop, skip, and a jump uh, right on down the road here. But, uh, I mean, first off, the uh, the feeling of it, it's, it's just super smooth. It's a very unique feeling. It's such a big truck, but at the same time, we don't have a trailer until we hook up uh, to those jobs of actual towing. It's going to be so much fun. I just, I really can't wait. And uh, it really isn't that bad. The brakes... Um, I will be honest with you, the brakes are made of cottage cheese, but I mean the the sound, just the feel of it, everything, like the gear change is super, super smooth, and that's something that I absolutely love too. Here we go, we made it. I'll take you to the painting shop. I have you lick the lollipop. Whoa! Can we drift it? Can we drift it? Is it driftable? totally drift. We drifted it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the paint cam. This is usually the cam that you see every ATS streamer or content creator using. I don't, I, I don't like it personally. I really don't like it. I don't know why you would give up the wide view for, you know, more of your ceiling and the steering wheel, but that's just me. All right, let's go ahead and get into the, uh, the paint itself to see the schemes that we have that comes with the, the truck. There are a lot of options, and a lot of these options, we're basically just going to stick uh, with a, a one-color paint scheme, so it's nothing going to be fancy, you know, two-tone or anything. I don't have any of those mods yet, so let's go ahead and just uh, edit our color for the truck here. We've got Aqua Serenity. We've got Carbon Olive. Guys, we have Digitalized Reality, which is a little bit too shiny for me. We got High Tech Fascination. <laughs> who, who is coming up with these names? Northern Blues, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like an old, like, 50s light blue. It kind of, it's kind of like a kickback to the old school, like, wreckers and everything in the 1950s. I actually like it. It's kind of cool. Sagebrush, of course, you know, we can change each color option too as well. It's just how the colors are put in and basically, uh, just like pre-made, uh, color options. Ooh, I like this. The scales of might. I actually really like that. And we got smoke source. I mean, it's not bad, but, uh, let's go ahead. Let's do scales of might. And I might actually uh, go ahead and put this up to a lighter blue, maybe? Kind of like there. Not too, too sparkly. A little bit darker. There, actually. That's, that's, that's perfect. For, for that tone, anyway. And I want it reflective. I don't want it too, too reflective. So let's go ahead and drop down our secondary color just a little bit. That, that actually works pretty well. And then this one is going to be... What is this? So that's basically kind of like... More so the uh, the shadows and the highlights here. If we put it all the way up. We, we get a lot more glossy when we do that. So I'll go ahead and keep it kind of... Eh, just in the middle. It's it's fine. That'll work. But let's go ahead and move on to the accessories. This has a lot of accessories. I mean, look at how many buttons we can press to go ahead and customize this stuff. I mean, this is just absolutely crazy. We have our exhaust, uh, in which, I mean, they give you plenty, plenty of options if you want some short stacks. Uh, where's my, uh, where's my chopped kind of shorter stacks here? I'm trying to look for the ones that are kind of chopped. Those are them. But I want a chrome. There we go. Perfect. It's exactly what I was asking for. Ask 
and you shall receive. We get uh, the visors on the windows here too as well. I'm not sure what that one is, but you can really see it with that. It's uh, it's kind of like tinted down. I might, uh, I might keep that one just because it's not going to block our view or anything, so might as well, right? We got the main mirrors. We'll go ahead and keep those as they are. Uh, we've got beacons, which I have to tell you guys this right now. Big T... Uh, all of the lights and the beacons for Big T are not working for me as of right now. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's not. I don't know if you guys have been having problems with it. We will be putting on lights nonetheless. We just won't have a second beacon. So uh, that's the thing. But uh, yeah, I mean, you get uh, basically you get your own rack with uh, with lights galore. Uh, you get uh, your grill in which we can also put lights here too as well. You get your bumper, same thing, you can go ahead and put lights here. And the bumpers are actually really cool because they're actually like, you know, few far apart and in between. So whatever kind of bumper is your style, basically you just go for it. I like this with the winch though. It just kind of makes it look more wreckerish, and it just makes a lot more sense to me. Air filters, we'll go ahead and get some chrome on that. Yes, please, and thank you. Appreciate it. We've got our front mirrors making their debut. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get that one painted there, too. There we go. Both of the uh, the little mirrors there as well. And the tires, too, as well. I really like these tires. I really love these wheels. They, they just they look perfect like they match the truck so very well sometimes you get mods in which like the the wheels look kind of plastic you have to use mods on top of the mods to make them look real but these wheels mwah, chef kiss absolutely perfect for the truck we went ahead and got some horns on here uh, too as well also the beacon um, they have bases for you to go ahead and put on for the uh, the beacon and then back here I believe yes this is where you can actually do your main beacon and it would go right here if it was actually working at the time like I said it's not for me it's not that big of a deal we already have a beacon back here and t uh, speaking of lights <laughs> let's go ahead and edit all of those beautiful lights over here now this is a really cool part of this build is that you get so many light configurations you can do it aligned you can do it scattered uh, you can go ahead and do the uh, the borders um, or you know just just the borders themselves or the borders with uh, you know more lights up there in the front too as well I think we'll go ahead and stick with uh, with this here there's just like a lot more lights that we can kind of customize and do so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and booyah just like that we wanted lights so let there be light ladies and gentlemen uh, basically what I did I just went ahead and did the uh, I believe it was the LED um, yeah, basically it's the strobe and LED, so that way they're going to be flashing a little bit, because, uh, you know, as a wrecker, you want to go ahead and be noticed. You know, you don't want to be on the side of the road without, you know, people actually seeing you, so let's go ahead and turn the lights on. That's basically where they are, where they're going to look like. Are they on the low side? Yes, they are, but it's the best that we can do with the packs that we have, and I'm all right with that, but... I mean, look at the detail with this, too. With the crane, uh, you can go ahead and paint the crane if you want to. You can keep it red, blue, black. And then we've got, of course, the uh, the paint, which we're just going to go ahead and keep it with the paint. Um, but also, too, we've got stickers on the side here. Uh, move over, slow down, and then we've got little stickers here, too, as well. I haven't actually read these. It's diesel and another beautiful absolutely amazing sticker you guys have to have this sticker it's the best thing of the whole entire truck and let's go ahead and fix up that grill too as well no not my grill the trick's grill that's i i got sexy teeth okay you, I, hey, you know it's true i like the gray i kind of like it blacked out but at the same time i would really like it painted and a little bit of chrome but uh i mean you definitely do have several options of uh chrome on paint paint on chrome cream on chrome for all of you rat -a tat fans no no music lovers all right that's okay i don't know should we have paint on chrome or should we have chrome on paint hmm decisions decisions i'm gonna go ahead and do the chrome on paint it just kind of gives it that more retro feeling and uh i really like that let me go ahead and add lights to the grill here too as well same ones uh actually i'm gonna go ahead what i'll do i'm gonna make these ones strobes uh, two as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put the the right side as the uh, the right lights, and then the left side as the left lights. 
as would be expected. I went ahead and put some white lights down here and then we still have, like we said, our uh, our amber lights up there. I was gonna put blue down here and then I realized, you know what, that's actually very highly illegal <laughs> to do. Even as a wrecker, well, our type of wrecker, uh, you're not supposed to have blue lights because it's not an emergency vehicle. We're not anyway. I think that there are types of wreckers that are, like special wreckers. Um, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. But yeah, I mean, we'll try to keep it within the law. You know, this isn't GTA 5 yet. Now let's go ahead and give a little shout out to as well, Blade Shop over on our, uh, our side there. Just for, I don't know, just for the fun of it. And then we'll get a, uh, a boot brush, or a booth brush, I should say, sorry, uh, over there too as well, just for the fun of it. I think that might actually do it, guys. Uh, just some, uh, just some lights. Um, you know, I mean the beacons look really good. Everything looks pretty cool. The front of it uh, looks absolutely amazing too as well Let's go ahead uh, Move on to the interior. I just want to be sure actually the uh, the visor too as well Just as uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the visors. I like the painted visor. I like I like to keep things matched Is that one better? Hmm I like uh, I like this one a little bit better. Let's go and keep it. We're good on our interior I'll make it kind of pretty quick and simple We have to get rid of the original steering wheel because everybody does because why not? I usually have a to-go-to steering wheel if I can find it and now look like an idiot because I told you guys exactly what I wanted But now it looks like I'm very indecisive here. It is this one. This is the one the other uh, combo basically we get a little bit of leather a little bit of the uh, whatever that is, whatever the wood finish might be. Um, also, too, we don't want accessories on here. Air filters are over there. We've got bumper, which we don't want to mess with. Gauges, we can kind of change up a little bit of the uh, the gauges uh, around the uh, the borders of them. And we've got the wood that we're definitely going to be changing. I hate the way that they do wood in any cab. This isn't bad. I could live with this, but let's go ahead and go with that one. It's like a deep, dark, like mahogany. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Just stop judging me. Maybe I should have learned more about my timber. I don't know. Coulda, shoulda, would, uh, no. Okay. Let's move on. We've got our dash, uh, in which we are going to change to the, uh, the truck color itself. We've got the, uh, the shifter. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at that thing. That thing just kind of like, <laughs> it's like going through our ceiling i mean don't get me wrong it's really cool and everything i just think it would kind of get in the way it's i mean i gotta hand it to him with the size you know of that shaft i'll probably go ahead and just stick with the uh, the shifter i'm um, just kind of like there there we go that'll work i think it's an eight ball <laughs> it's actually kind of cool all right let's go ahead and take a look over here we got air filters which is on the outside of the truck we can paint our uh you know the floor i don't really like the floor that's painted though to be honest with you floor items eh, we don't want that is there anything on the ceiling i think we can get a painted ceiling or painted roof a little bit of accent i like that i like that they don't just paint the whole roof it's like a little bit of accents here and there and it looks nice and last but not least we'll go ahead and do the uh, the dash under we'll go ahead and get that painted too as well just so it kind of looks you know looks cozy you know it's not like tons and tons of paint it's just like just the right amount of paint with a little bit of accent i like it it looks nice gotta do my alien and then i think we're good uh, for us to go ahead and pick the uh, the engine and the transmission and with great power comes great responsibility ladies and gentlemen so here is our analysis as it is right now with the cummins m11 I think we can do a little bit better. The downside is that if you go ahead and just go for the, you know, the biggest engine, the biggest, baddest one, heavy car goes up, goes up and our normal cargo goes down. I believe that the Wrecker technically only does heavy cargo. I don't think that we do like a normal cargo load. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. But also too... Uh, you know, the maneuverability. I don't think that's going to come in until the transmission. But basically, just pick what you feel. Pick what stats are best for you. Also, too, you got to look at the hill's traversal. Um, you know, for you to go up a hill, is it going to help you? Is it going to go ahead and <laughs> careen your truck backwards to where you were like, oh, no, why didn't I pick another engine? I'll go ahead and go with the Cummins N14. Why not? Um, let's go ahead and do our transmission 
2 as well, and we certainly 100% have so many decisions with transmissions. This list literally goes on forever. So whatever your truck spec, whatever you want to do with your transmission, it's probably possible in this list. We're not going to go over everything. I'll just go ahead and pick one that's my favorite. Uh, basically, you can go 16 speeds. You can go 18 speeds if you want to. Uh, truck analysis, keep your eye definitely on that. Uh, 12 speeds. The list just goes on and on and on and on. I went ahead, backed out like a coward. I did the 10 speeds. So, you know, that's what? 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 You want to judge me? What? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> also, too, real quick, I forgot about the chassis. I mean, obviously, this chassis is, you know, kind of like the, the premium chassis, but uh, also, you can kind of get it lower. Uh, you can kind of, like, drop it down low if you want to, uh, just like our uh, our switch over here on our button box, <laughs> the J-Lo switch. Drop it down low. <laughs> I'm just going to look like an idiot. But, I mean, it looks cool. It looks kind of cool lower, but uh, I kind of like that high rise with uh, everything else. Yeah, I mean, you kind of get the uh, the ability to uh, to raise up the wheel and everything, too, as well. And it's just, I, I don't know, I like this one a lot better. And that's it, guys. That is our truck. We are ready to get it onto the open road. Wait a second, wait a second, we're missing. I'm sorry. Guys, I forgot one more important detail. Probably the most important that we could ever have remembered and that is our convoy rubber duck as the hood ornament we have to have it we have to have well, there is no other choice you have to have this before you go driving every trucker knows this all right let's go ahead and get this show on the road i want to see the jobs the unique jobs that we can actually do with this amazing truck so let's go ahead and confirm the order and let's head on out, shall we? And here it is, guys, ladies and gentlemen, some fresh paint, some new lights. Check this baby out. It looks absolutely magnificent in the sunlight, doesn't it? And also, too, if we go ahead, start it up with our uh, ignition key, of course, and let's go ahead and turn on those, uh, those beautiful lights here. And there we go, we got the headlights, we got the brights, we got the auxiliary lights absolutely amazing i absolutely love the patterns i really do but are you guys ready for the piece of resistance that's right guys we're going right to paris france because this is as fancy as it gets watch this the beacons are you ready party lights here we go full on rave you can see the uh, the brake lights going crazy our uh, you know all of our auxiliary lights and also too on the sides you can see the reflection going on too as well from the ground it's so bright it's so bold and I just absolutely love it. I love how they do these lights. Just the body, the style, the paint. Absolutely magnificent, wonderful. I had such a, a fun time building this too as well. And now, speaking of a fun time guys, we get to go ahead and do our very first towing job. It's a surprise. It, it is a, a great surprise for you guys because um, I was, you know, like I was looking through and I'm like, really? Like you can, you can tow that and everything. Like I wasn't sure. I think I kind of gave it away almost. Hopefully not. Uh, it's right up here. It's literally, let's go ahead and turn the, uh, the beacons off real quick. Let's drive up a little bit to get it. And, uh, let's go ahead and get the show on the road, shall we? Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and get my, uh, my parking brake up and, uh, hopefully we won't stall for our very first, uh, creeping up into the uh, the entrance in order to get our first job i hope not <laughs> inside the cab guys absolutely beautiful wonderful i love the paint we did a good job it was a good decision it was the right decision and our load is right up there what is it oh it's a it's a truck cab oh that's 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 all that we're doing watch me watch me crush my truck oh inches no it's actually not and yes yes i'm doing this on purpose <laughs> It's right beside the truck, guys. Look at this. I know it's a fire truck. What? A fire truck? Yeah, you can do that. It's so freaking cool, isn't it? That's one of the most unique towing vehicles. Like, you know, a vehicle that we get to tow that I could ever think of. And it's going to be an absolute, absolute amazing uh, honor to tow this fire truck. Let me go ahead. I am gonna cheat just a little bit. Ah, just a little bit until we get uh, perfectly situated. There we go. Uh, it's not perfect, but I mean, with the angle that we were at, 
it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and take a look, if we can, at the, uh, the animation of getting this hooked on. And there we go. There it is. We've got our very first fire truck. <laughs> I still can't believe that. It's so stinking cool. And since we are in service, guys, let's go ahead, turn on our beacons. Oh, look at that. It's so cool. It's even better when we have something to actually tow and we're like underway. Oh, it just feels so right. It feels so right. And I mean, like you can even see the beacons going through, uh, you know, kind of the roof a little bit too as well. And I'm hoping that I don't hit my fire truck against any walls or anything. This is kind of a close, uh, close knit uh, exit here. Now we're good. It was just a, a little speed bump. So I'm going to go ahead and be going left. There we go. Let's go ahead and get it out. You can still see it in the mirrors. It's absolutely awesome. It looks amazing. It feels great. Oh man, this is, uh, this is so much fun. Like I thought it was just going to be like a regular job, you know, a regular truck. And I saw this and I'm like, you know what? We're going <laughs> to, we're going to do it. We have to do it. Also too, the amazing thing is like you can do buses, like full city buses. Uh, you can do, uh, like I said, trucks and also trucks with the trailers. That's something pretty radical. Um, also too, uh, you can do, um, let's see what else there is. There was a Coca-Cola truck that you can tow as well. Uh, it'll look pretty cool. A, uh, a garbage truck, I know that there's that. And uh, I mean, the list just goes on and on. What a wonderful mod so far. And I mean, we're just getting started, you know? Come on, dude, we gotta go. Yeah, I mean, this is, this would be absolutely amazing if you're into RP. So if you're RPing, uh, you know, like Los Angeles, uh, which I believe is our destination, uh, Las Vegas, anywhere like that, it's, uh, it's absolutely incredible um, that you can actually RP as a wrecker now. And it'd be just so much fun just going through the city, uh, you know, picking up and towing and it'd be kind of your job but also too at the same time it does an important thing to add something new to the game you know what i mean it's like you're so used to towing what we usually tow you know it's like you know boxes and crates and cranes for the heavy haul but if you want to go ahead and have the real sensation of you know being a wrecker getting your lights on going out doing a job every day I mean, this is the mod. Um, like I said, you know, it is $30 from Blades, and you can put a little bit more money if you want to. I suggest that you do, because the time, effort, and dedication it had to take in order to get this uh, get this going and get it finished, it, it would, I mean, every single second was worth it, because I, I really do appreciate it. I really do. And like I said, I think that it kind of brings a new dynamic to the game, because you don't want your game to be, you know, the same thing over and over and over. You know, no changes, doing the same exact thing over and over for years and years and years. <laughs> World of Warcraft! <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. It must be the... Oh, it must be the California air. That was uh, that, that was a bad one. <laughs> I mean, you really do get everything in one package, you know? I mean, you, you get good customizations, which, by the way, too, like I said, you can get two-tone paint. Um, I don't have the two-tone paint, so I didn't do it, but it is possible. Uh, you can get the lights. I wish that the big T uh, were working, but they haven't updated them, I guess. So, you know, it's from, from this point, you know, from right now, you know, it's not updated, but um, it, it'd be cool if we had that, but it, it's fine as it is, you know, with the lights that we have. I think it still looks cool, and, um, you know, it's fast enough. It's got the power. Squishy brakes, but that's okay. I think it's just the way that the truck is, and I just, I, what can I say? I mean, I absolutely love it. It's a must-have mod, you know? It, it is, for me, uh, my recommendation, it's a must-have mod. And we got a uh, we got a collision over there. We would help them out if we could, but unfortunately, guys, with our hauling of a uh, of a fire truck, we just can't help out. Oh, I thought that was a merging lane. I'm like, no, 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 don't do it, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> and we got another accident up here, I believe so. Oh, a big one. Looky there. Oh, it's a fire truck. Hey, we got your brother. <laughs> I don't think that they've really. 
enjoyed me saying that at all. Yo, let's go ahead and get it on with our squishy breaks here. But that's all right, we love you anyway. We love you just how you are, right behind a uh, cement truck. And I wouldn't have it any other way either. You know, I mean like cement trucks that are right in front of us. I mean, they get a hard job, man. I mean, like, every day, you know, it's like, oh, lay this, you know, lay the brickwork for the stonework and everything. Do you think, but my question to you guys is, do you think that they take their job for granite? Granite? The cement truck? No? No? Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm going to get to a point up here to where I can actually put it in the, uh, the third person mode. We got to do this really quick because if not, we all know that Captain Blue Shell's just going to go ahead and careen off the road. There we go. Better take your chance to look at it. It's not going to last long at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna, we're totally going to die. There we go. We're back to safety of our cabin. Actually, you know what? If we... I want to show you guys something here real quick. If we put it this way, and then we kind of put the camera down. We cheat just a little bit, right? The map is still there. We're still going straight for a pretty good while. Hold on. There we go. How about that, huh? How about that for a, uh, for a field of view? Our, uh, our wrecker and the, uh, the fire truck there just kind of cruising along. I don't know what my RPMs are, so if they're bad, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to live with it. This looks absolutely amazing, doesn't it? I absolutely love it. That's freaking crazy, man. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Just for you, because you guys totally deserve it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We can't do this for very long, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> I can't, I mean, like, uh, I'm, I swear I'm not getting paid for this review or anything. I really cannot, you know, I, I don't have any thoughts that come to mind of a mod that's $30 that's actually worth this much in value. I mean, it's, uh, we're, we're going to be late, too, with our delivery, by the way, just so you know. So, <laughs> I'm just making that apparent. But, yeah, I mean, like, everything. This is hitting every mark. Like, I didn't think that it would. I think there'd be, like, glitches or something going on, something wrong, something that I didn't like. There's nothing about this that I don't like. Um, yeah, I mean, I say that the, you know, the truck has squishy brakes. It does. I think that the truck like this would supposed to have squishy brakes. I'd be, I'd be appalled and absolutely flabbergasted. Yeah, I'm from the 1960s, okay? Get over it. I'd be... <laughs> I would be absolutely surprised. Oh, wait. Wait a second, guys. Wait a second, guys. We gotta do it. We have to do a screenshot. I'm sorry. We have to. We have to do a screenshot before we end. You know this. I know this. We all know this. It's screenshot time. All right, guys. I'll go ahead and show you. This is my screenshot. Since I have three screens, I can actually do the huge, wide, wide picture and then I can crop it out later if I want to, but I absolutely love that. The bridge, the highway, uh, just kind of going down uh, with our fire truck. It is a memory uh, to definitely save. And uh, I mean, like I said, you know, if you guys are looking for something fresh, something new in a mod that's not gonna cost you much, this is the one to go for. This is definitely because you can drive around just the wrecker itself and not have to worry about a trailer. You know, this can get in and out of traffic very easily. Uh, you know, like I said, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, um, like I said, is where we're heading now. And uh, it's just, it, it's so cool because you can carry the huge toes like a truck with a trailer, or you can just go by the record itself and just kind of, you know, have some fun with some cruising. So just uh, a wonderful, wonderful mod. Huge shout out again to Blades. For this mod i i super super appreciate this mod and now we're gonna go ahead and do a hill test <laughs> we're, we're gonna see if we can actually go up the hill oh this is gonna be oh this is gonna be absolutely fantastic come on come on come on come on i know that you can do it yes go 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 no 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 get into second gear get into second gear you son of a mother which is is scientifically correct because if you are a son you technically have to have a mother okay so yeah i mean the uh the hill test i'm not gonna lie it was absolutely frightening but we did it and technically we are in los angeles we're just in the very 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 outskirts of los angeles but uh yeah i mean this ride it feels super good it, it just looks absolutely amazing i i mean you have to admit 
I mean, being able to do this every single time with every single load, mwah, chef's kiss, guys chef's kiss and here we go as we pull on in and then what we'll do so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna park it but then after we're gonna see what the beacons look like at absolute night and i'm talking about like pitch black darkness because it's definitely something how bright these actually get uh even without you know added lights on so we'll be checking that too after we park uh, let's go ahead and find out where we're going to be parking. My guess is going to be right over here, this little alleyway here. I don't know why, something tells me that we're going to have to park it there. I don't think I've ever been here before, but <laughs> let's go ahead and check and see who wants to bet. Oh my goodness, look at that. Is it, yeah, it's son of a gun. Captain Blue Shell, you did it again. I know, I know guys, how do I do this? I'm, I'm super... What do they, what do they call it? The, the people that, uh, the, the read the future or whatever? Or it can, like, read your, your mind or future things? Psycho. Yeah! I'm psycho! Yeah! Come on in for some, for some hand print lookings. Let me, let me look at your hand prints. Study them sexy things, cause I'm a psycho! Here we go. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut into the grass. Cut into the grass. There we go. That's alright. There's no need to be afraid of just a little grass, all right? If somebody, unless you're a Woodstock, then be very afraid. And we got it. We're good. First time. First try. Let's go ahead and unload it. Were we late? I don't. I don't really know if we were late or not. Are we late? Were we on time? We're on time. Yes, baby. All right, guys. So let me go ahead and uh, just slip into this motel. <laughs> that, yeah. That sounded very, yeah, that, that sounded YouTube appropriate. Let me go ahead and just slip into this ho motel real quick. I'll be right back. I mean, what we get is what we get. You know, this is the only place that I could find to sleep, but that's okay, because we have a beautiful, wonderful view of the cruise ship right behind us. It's absolutely beautiful, amazing, wonderful. Oh my God, it's bringing a tear to my eye. I'm going to cry. And also, too, what does the sign say on the motel? Uh, it says, uh, welcome visitors, kitchenettes. Cable TV, phones, low weekly rates, and also the jacuzzi room. <laughs> jacuzzi? The motel? Is it a jacuzzi room? I'm gonna go to sleep. Uh, not, not, not in the jacuzzi room, but I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get some sleep regardless. I'll show you guys what it looks like in the pitch black darkness here. So we're getting some rest and this is at 10.30 at night, absolutely perfect. So you guys can see this is pitch black, pitch dark. Let me go ahead and turn on the, uh, the engine here real quick. There we go. So now we've got our lights, we've got our headlights too as well. And uh, let me go ahead and get this thing off of here too. There we go. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Super bright be prepared and i'm not joking either okay i'm not like this isn't a joke this isn't to be funny if you guys have um you know history of seizures or anything this is a seizure warning so be very careful i'm, I'm not joking around here we go three two one it's <laughs> it's your own rave from a truck how could you not love this how could you not like this it's so bright I mean, all the lights are just bouncing off everywhere. Also, too, if you're in a town, you're going by a building, look, the lights are just going to bounce off the buildings, too, as well. And our brake light, brake light in its own self is its own, <laughs> it's, its own rave. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to be taking a look inside the cab. Major extreme seizure warning, guys. So you've been warned. Here we go. You ready? Look at that. <laughs> look, this is... I don't, like, I was abducted into a UFO. And we found the alien, too, as well. It's right on the air conditioner. <laughs> I mean, this is, uh, this, this is crazy, man. I mean, this is, like, uh, like I'm, I'm bugging out, but it's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I could do this for, like, six hours. Like, it's not a big deal. The upside is that you get bright lights, right? It's wonderful and it's amazing. The only thing that I'm thinking is, why is the light bleeding through our entire ceiling like it's not really supposed to be bleeding that much is it i don't know but uh i guess you know for them to make the lights they had to do what they had to do so like i said it's not that big of a deal why because if you're hooked up you're driving at night all you gotta do is just that 
and just drive and that's fine. You can still, you know, simulate realism. It's just, you know, if you want to and if you want to go ahead and turn it on, you're in a town or something and you kind of want to warn people and then, you know, if you're on the road or something somewhere completely dark, just go ahead and do that. Like I said, not that big of a deal. We'll go ahead and rest up. Good morning, good morning. How'd you guys sleep? I slept wonderful because you know why? Because I, last night, don't tell anybody this, I went to the jacuzzi room. <laughs> and here are the beacons in the daytime. Yeah. <laughs> like that's, <laughs> it's, uh, I guess you could say it was night and day difference. No? All right, okay. So guys, what else is there to say about this mod but absolute brilliance? I highly recommend that you get this mod. I mean, like, I, I really do advise it. If you want something new, you want something different, you want something beautiful, very unique, with uh, very special jobs of towing uh, vehicles, like we said, dump trucks, uh, trucks, trucks with trailers, city buses, Coca-Cola trucks, and also, of course, two fire trucks as well. Uh, go ahead and get this uh, this mod, Blades Wrecker, for the win. It's a Peterbilt flat top. It looks sexy. It drives absolutely smooth. Great gear changes. Squishy brakes, but that's what gives it character. And uh, beacons galore uh, with the lights. So you guys, you guys are gonna have fun uh, customizing it, driving it, and doing the job. So. Uh, like I said, $30 uh, at the store, Blade Shop, go check it out. And definitely put in more than $30 because it's definitely worth it with the time, hard work, and the effort. <laughs> and most importantly, guys, remember, you guys can drive this directly to the jacuzzi room. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know that I did. Thank you guys for hanging out with me in the driver's seat yet back again. American Truck Simulator with Blades 388, the wrecker. Definitely get it and I will see you guys on the next beautiful trucking adventure. It's Captain Blue Shell. I'm out.